Okay, so today we have the Strella Sputnik. You can see it's a brake. Now behind those two slots for the brake ports, you have some smaller circular holes right here. And when you're shooting, the gun's gonna tend to go up and away because your arm here is stopping the gun from going that way. So those gas ports are to keep the gun down so you're tracking straight. So uh, I guess uh, a brake when you're shooting, that's gonna keep the gun from going back. So instead of all your gas escaping out the front, those large ports are gonna kick it out the side. And uh, uh, comp, unless I've mixed them up and I'm, I don't know, not that smart, um, it's gonna keep the gun down. So this is kind of like a hybrid. So we'll see how that works. And uh, I'll be shooting another target with a magazine to see if I can keep all my rounds in a small group and see how effective that is. I'm going to shoot a bunch of uh, zombie pumpkins and see how this works. Um, something else to note here, guys. You see this little piece here. This up here is a 24 by 1.5, but it has a thread adapter that is 14 but 14 by one, left-handed. So right now, this is on a 14 by one, um, but it will fit on a 24 by inch by 1.5, but it doesn't have a notch to fit into the pin. Um, you could Dremel that yourself. Um, they're saying that they are going to release another one that has the notch, so you can put this on like the your, uh, PSA AKP without having any issues or having to use like a, a crush washer or something like that. All right, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do some shooting.
Okay, so down there I have about a five or six inch circle. It was white, now it's a little dirty. Um, I'm gonna put a mag of about 25 rounds into that at a rapid pace. Try to keep my group nice and tight and really test the effectiveness of this break. Okay, so this is the Strella Sputnik. Let's see what we can do. Alright, the Strella Sputnik. Okay, so I've been shooting my AKP a lot, so a 10 and a half inch barrel, it's hard to judge percussion and stuff against a full um, 16 inch barrel because, uh, you know, that 10 and a half inch barrel is a lot louder and you feel a lot more percussion just because of the barrel. Now, shooting this with my Wasser 10, um, I didn't feel a whole lot of percussion. I didn't feel like a wave hitting me. Um, if somebody was to the left or the right of me, they probably would have felt that, but I did not. So uh, I did notice some uh, fireballs coming out of this, about a foot and a half on each side. Um, not every time, but I caught some on uh, watching the video. I didn't notice it a lot during the day shooting, um, but this isn't a flash hider. It is a break with some type of, some ports, like some comp ports on there. So um, I think this uh, performed really well. Um, kept the gun nice and flat. I could kind of track my uh, red dot the whole time. So, uh, all right, so these threads are 24 by 1.5. And this is a thread adapter. See these little notches? Well, uh, this goes to 14 by 1. This thread adapter goes in. And let's see. This little ring goes on, kind of like a capture ring, and um, those little notches that were at the top, um, you put two of these little um, screws into each side, one there, one there, and that keeps this from rotating like this. So um, currently there's no notch here. To use it for a 24 by 1.5, but you could do that with a Dremel if you felt like doing that. Um, I guess they are going to try to offer these for 7.62s with that notch, but right now they don't. So um, 14 by 1, 7.62, and I thought this did a really good job um, for what its intended purpose is. Um, myself, I am more of a flash hider person. I like a lot of the sound to go out away in front of me. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, realistic use, that's what most of my guns are for. So, um, but I thought this did a good job. Um, it's not, not real heavy for the size. And, uh, let's see. Comparing it to the Strella four piece, um, you can see it's a little longer. Um, almost the same length. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.